G'day, mate, and welcome back to Desynced with me, Jiddy. In our last episode, what well, we got some automation. We got some automation up and running. We got a little bit more automation up and running with um some automated combat robots. Yeah, yeah, we just, you know, send them off. Send them off and they clear out a whole bunch of area, which is good because we've had a few incursions, a few incursions, a few uh, problems with a couple of the natives. So having some combat bots that were automated, great, great addition. The catch is uh, they need power then we don't have a way to get them power. I could string a whole pile of power poles. I could even put up mobile power poles to connect them, but we've been neglecting our research. So today I want to do a couple of things. One of them is I uh, definitely want to deal with that research problem. I think I have a solution. I think I have a very, very good solution, but it's going to involve a little bit more behaviors, a little bit more programming, which is probably the main point of desync. So uh, with that out of the way, I need to ask the most important question of all, and that is, can I borrow like? Can I borrow like? I just like to borrow like on the video. You're not happy with the video, didn't enjoy the video. Well, that's all right. You can just write a behavior to like the videos for me. All right, so we're doing a few things. We're, we're, we're slowly going through the virus research, the virus cure research, and that requires, um, well, the infected circuit boards, which we're also using anytime the scout bot needs to go find a explorable and uh, not solve the, pro uh, the puzzle, the puzzle, the puzzle. Uh, we just used infected circuit board. And they, of course, require bug chitin, which we, we now have because um, we sent the combat team up here and they cleared off a whole lot of area. But, um, well, we have a trash pickup bot. Trash pickup bot, that's a perfect example. He was a really silly bot and all he did was took stuff to the local tower. And once the local tower's full, I need to find him and then I set him up for another tower and these ones luckily have four storage slots, so he fills that up a bit more. And I thought, surely there's going to be a way to improve this. Uh, also, I need to bought those because they're not, never going to get there. Um, I need to improve this. I need to have a, a, a way to pick up stuff automatically. And I've been racking my brain, racking my brain for a good solution. I haven't come up with it. I haven't really, really haven't come up with one at all. So I then thought about, well, I, I just need anything that's seen on the ground to be picked up. That's really the bottom line condition. That's really all I need. And then I did come to a solution. Um, I need a behavior controller and I need to put it in the dasher. Any of the dashes, any dash will do. And um, we're gonna write a brand new program. And we're gonna keep this pretty simple. Uh, we want to, 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 to global move, no? On the front page? I don't know what it what it's under. Uh move. No. Just open up all the map. Oh, that's it. That's it. Loop entities in range. Okay, that's gonna be the command. Uh performs code for all entities in range. Okay. Uh Mr. Dasher has a visibility range of 10. Okay. So I wanna have a parameter. Uh vision. Oh. Vision range. It's a variable. It's a variable I have to set. Uh, vision range. Filter. Uh, on ground. Anything you see on the ground. I'm going to add another condition to that. And this one's a little bit up to you. I'm going to also say inside the power grid. Just on the off chance he finds things outside the power grid. We want him to pick up stuff. Uh, well, well, we want it to be NCA. NCA. Okay, that's going to be very important. Now, Mr. Dasher, like all the other dashes. Uh, Dasher, Dasher, Dasher is normally on the logistics network. Now, that's fine and all, but um, I want to probably have this not on the logistics network when it's doing things. So there is the button disconnect. So we're gonna run that one, which will disconnect him from the log logistics network. Then I'm gonna have to do a check. A check, uh, check space for item. That's the one I want. Uh, the item is gonna be A, because we've already saved that as a variable. Uh, if it can fit, we obviously want to pick up the item. Uh, helps if I can spell. Pick up the item. Uh, source A. Cool. Uh, once you're done with that, um, go back to there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. It's done. It's done. Now, if it can't fit, that's probably a problem. Uh, so, I want to set a, a, a universal, a universal uh, option. Okay. I could say general storage and just put it in general storage. But general storage is specific, which means I have to set another variable and then I have to make sure in every new game, if I made any of these bots with this code, which I'm definitely telling you I'm planning on saving because you get access to behavior controls very, very early in the game. And the fact that I could have my logi bots clean up after me sounds like a great idea. So this is probably something I'm gonna be implementing in all games going forth that every single dasher bot that I make cleans up after me. So. I need to go with something universal, something that exists in every map, which is global. 
If I say get home, that refers to, well, this building, the command center, because that's universal in every game. So if I say get home and store that as valuable to B, and then I say drop whatever you found into B, then that solves our whole problem. Actually, yeah, you can check again. I don't see a problem with that. Uh, and then once you've dropped off the items, you can go back to here because I need to put you back to somewhere because at the moment you're disconnected from the network. Yeah. Mm, then I need to connect you back to the network. And then once connected to the network, I don't want this running constantly every couple of ticks. I really want this to run less often. So we're going to put in a wait command. Uh, like, whoop. Down here, please. Yep. And as far as I can tell, I, I, you, I, I or you would have to talk to a dev to confirm or they'd have to release it in some sort of a wiki patch note, something, something. As far as I understand, uh, one second is three ticks in game. So if I type in 30 seconds, that means once every 10 seconds, we're going to run through this, uh, this bit of code. And then I'm going to loop that back to there as well. And I think that's the code. I think that's the code done. Also means if I happen to make new bots with this code pre-enabled, as long as I've set the vision range beforehand, being 10, then after they've looped once, they're going to connect to the network automatically. So I can set them to be built not on the network, and then they'll connect. Also means that if I find stuff on the ground like this right here, and we hit tab so I can see his vision range. Can you come forward one time? Cool. Then we're going to hit go. And he found stuff which he picked up. And then he's going to drop it to home. And in theory, after he's dropped off everything, he'll do another quick check. There's never going to be anything at home, which is fine, I assume, unless I've mass deconstructed something right here. And then he'll go join the network. Which means I need to save this code. It also means uh, control center uh, units dash. I have 43 bots. Okay. You're a trash bot. You're a trash bot of some sort. I'm going to assume, looking at your inventory, uh, you're a my two foundation bots. So I have 39 bots that I need to put behavior controllers in and add code to. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be back in a minute after I update some bots because that in theory is the best code I've ever written. Because as we put down a power pole, put down a power pole out here, uh, they're going to come through and they're going to check in theory as they're driving. So as they're driving across no man's land, which could be risky, they could detour and pick up things, which don't get me wrong, that is going to be risky. But once it's picked up, it's picked up. And that's really a thing. So I, I'm never going to have a bot go and pick up like this bit of sand twice. It's, it's only going to get picked up once. Once it's done, it, it's done. So I am going to have interruptions to deliveries, which is not ideal. I do admit, but uh, you got copied and pasted from a building. Uh, unfix all slots. Cool. Uh, but it does mean that as I send bots out here, like there's, there was, there was, was, is, this guy's probably picked them up. Uh, a bunch of the bug chitin, which would all be brought back to center base. Now, it does mean there's a good chance center base is going to fill up, but we can just have a short little transport route to move it to general storage. And it means the code is universal for every map. So before the virus cure finishes, uh, probably, probably, uh... Well, at least they're now coming in so we can get them built. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upload the code on like 40, 50 odd bots. As predicted, it took a moment. It took a moment, but um, we have many, 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 many bots that now clean up after us, uh, which is good. It also meant that this filled up entirely. Uh, yeah, I had to add in extra storage to sort out the problem, but, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we also finished our virus research which now means I can make the virus cure. I also need to go set up the crypto, crypto, crypto B 
BitLockup and the Viral Turret. So we need to do those. But before I do that, I need to begin new research. Now, I've got a lot, a lot of options. A lot of options, a lot of options that I'd like to select. And, um, mm, okay, let's talk through our options. Uh, we have advanced logistics, which is giving me a radio receiver, a radio transmitter, an internal storage, a small storage, and a deployer. The radio transmitter and the radio receiver gives us more... Oh. Oh. Obviously need a new power pole right here. And from the looks of that devastation, I probably also need a new crystal team. Which sucks, because I was in the process of making a crystal team. To have more production. Not replacing what I just lost. Okay. You've lost a unit eight. That's six one plus the transport bot. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna stop the scout before they get overexcited and go wandering off. Uh, can I move you back a few tiles? And far enough, the ones that took damage were the repair bots. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that'll repair. All right. Research. So the radio receiver. The radio receiver allows remote reception modification of logic. Uh, same with the transmitter. Uh, yes, we, we've done something similar with our, our, our combat team. Yep, that could be handy. Uh, we also have internal storage. This will turn an internal socket to a storage, okay? Which is good for lots of our buildings where we're just not using the internals. Uh, the good example being these guys. These guys are pre-filled with capacitors basically so we just don't waste the storage and 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 things that we might want like flippers don't end up in in these slots uh so yeah uh small storage which will turn a small storage a small socket into four extra storage slots which i like the idea of and a deployer deployer lets me pack up a building into an internal component or a small or a medium or a whatever uh and then i can go drive that somewhere else great for if you want to build power poles you want to just you know build 30 power poles and then just have a bot pack up 30 of them and drive 30 of them out there and just build a whole power network so deployer definitely has some advantages uh next one is advanced materials which will give me a large building a two medium four internal with eight storage which is a lot better than one we have currently a one medium, two small with two internals with eight storage in a two by one as well. Also refined crystal, aka fish tanks. Yep. Plus the power upgrade, which gives me a large wind turbine, which sounds very good, although it's very, very expensive. If we hold down alt, that is an awful lot of material to make one bit of power. Solar panels are cheap, and most of our power grid is running on, well, it's nighttime. It's nighttime. Uh, most of our power grid is running on solar panels because every single one of these has a solar panel in it. Uh, actually, control center. Items. 291 of them. Yep. Like, some of them are in, in, in vehicles, but it, it, it really adds up. Okay. Uh... So the power transmitter, which is what I need to get the combat team up and automated, and a large beacon is, it's basically something we, we can build out on the map. They're very, very cheap. And that gives us 15 visibility at all times. So I want that one. And then I want that one. There's method to my madness and madness to my method. Okay. I also doubled our speed of our research by putting down two of these guys. So now I have four towers beaming light into the sky. I also need to research Blight at some stage. So we have Blight extracted. We have 400 in storage in this one building. We could have more by putting a few there. I also want to put in one of those. Yeah. 
Uh, that'll let me have more blight, and I'm gonna need... Unless I already built them, there's one of them. Uh, there's two of them, okay. I think I've got two of them. Don't know, we only need one to start with, uh, to do the blight research, because the blight is a gas, so I don't really have a way of transferring that. So I need to have one of those, plus I'm gonna have to have a small blight container to actually hold the blight to do the research in this building. Oh, also I'm gonna need a flippy. That way we can flip it from the other ones into here, because otherwise the bots can't pick up the blight in a gas form and put it into this building. Yeah, okay. So that's gonna be the plan there. Uh, meanwhile, we did get access to some new buildings. Let's go through our new buildings list. Uh, uh, actually, no, let's go Sand Hauler, Sand Hauler, Crystal Hauler. Crystal Hauler doesn't have a source anymore. Okay, that hauler can go there. Uh, I need to have um, Mining Slave, six off to replace the six that just got lost. And we need to get them cranking up. Okay. Whilst we wait for that, uh, new items. So we already had, do, 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 do. We already, oh, well, no, we have the virus cure, which we just got access to. So let's get that one automated. Also, so many alerts. I don't know what order was aborted, but okay. Uh, virus cure, yeah also which needs blight which we haven't started mining yet we should really set that up uh the virus internal virus containment so let's carry around a virus infected items sure uh, probably better have it rather better have it now rather than wish we had it later and not have it automated uh we got the viral turret which i think i want i also think you're stuck again uh because you have something you can't get to uh, U2 and U3. Yeah. I stopped you. You're not meant to be scouting. Wow. Yeah, I don't want you out causing trouble. Uh, we're going to put that in there. I'm going to also automate those ones, but I'm going to leave that set to zero for now because I want to upcycle the ones that I have. Uh, can I throw that in? And can I throw that in? And then that one can go into there. And that can go into there. We can throw that one in there and that one there. So does that mean the combat team's gone out for an explore? No, they haven't. Good. Okay. Uh, that scout goes that way. The explorer bot can be re-enabled. If you keep finding the same ruins over and over, I'm just going to blow them up. Or deconstruct them to be more accurate. Uh... And you can have that one. Okay. So then we're going to enable this because, yes, that, that's a double the DPS for the same amount of power and same range. Same range, yep. Uh, so we're definitely going to have those automated. I, I can't see myself using them in a great amount, but again, it, it's easy just to automate something and that way when you want it, uh, you have it. Okay, we also got access to the Crypto BitLocker. Now, one thing I haven't got around to automating is the data cubes because they are very expensive. Uh, so we should look at doing those. Is that the only thing? Well, we just unlock new things. Okay. Storage is an important part of keeping your base efficient. Inventory slots limited on your units. Uh, so having extra options for storage will be more and more valuable as you stockpile and control the flow of materials throughout your base. Uh, so they're really available when you need them. I agree. Okay. So, uh, also need to automate the internal storage, please. Uh, the... Do uh, the radio transmitter, the radio receiver, the storage storage, and huh? copy paste. Yeah, let's do them in some sort of order. You know, put the transmitter and the receiver beside one another. And can I also get? The deployer. That was all of them, wasn't it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. 
We'll get all those automated. Uh, is this working? It's off. I need to turn you on because um, I sort of want you running. All right. Another thing I've been meaning to do for a long time is now that we have uh, cleared off some of the plateau and I can claim that as mine, uh, we're going to put in a whole lot of wind turbines because they're up on the higher ground. So we're going to get a whole bunch of power. In fact, each one of these is going to be worth 200 power. So that's 200, 1,000, 2,000 power. More importantly, it's power at nighttime when the solar doesn't work. Yeah. That's our real big killer killer at the moment. Um, we just basically draw a lot of power off the batteries. Okay, I need you... So you're going to be... Crystal one hauler. Uh, you are the source. Uh, you're going to be... Crystal one replacement. Uh, you are going to be assigned to here. And copy, copy. One, two, three, four, five. So that's everybody set up. You are going to go to here. I'm going to assume that this is safe. Uh, we might need to go for a quick check in that direction a little bit. Uh, just confirm. And... Oh. Okay. Can I get your hauler? Your hauler. I wish you to get two of those. I have two. Perfect. You are not locked to crystal only. I want you to lock to crystal only. I want you locked to sand only. And I want you locked to uh, iron ore only, or metal ore. Okay. So, research is cranking along. Uh, we have this set up now. So, you can do blight research. You're not going to try and do blight research, because we're not doing blight research at the moment. But you can do blight research in the future. I have a spare hauler, because I need to was in the process of, uh, oh. Sorry, I have a blueprint uh, for a mining team leader with storage. Because this gives him more storage slots. We're gonna need that built. Also, you're gonna need storage as well, but we'll get to you. Uh, okay, so that goes in there and that goes in there. Which then means Current amount of storage. Yeah, that'll be zero. Uh, 80 is now 80, 160, 240? 240. Yes, that's a significant change. Uh, also means fixed slots for an item. It's going to be one of those. So I can request in one of those because that way you can hold 80. Uh, please don't go get that. Oh, you're on the network. You need to be off the network. Uh, yeah. Oh, you were not even enabled. Yeah. Let's enable your code. Notify crystal chunk. Yes, I can see that. Uh, try again. Did you find the big pile of crystal? You did. Okay, can I enable you? We just need to make sure that this is... This block glitch. Okay, can I just get you to just go... I think that locked on. It did. Okay, can you go pick that up? Also making sure the area is generally clear. Okay, the area looks generally clear. I'd really prefer it if my bots don't get a virus. Just okay, there's another one. Uh, let's go get you cleared. Okay, pick up those. Okay, so that's gone away, that's gone away, that's a bug hive. Okay, uh, power network. Alright, so they'll go down, they'll clear out that. They won't automatically come back, but it's a start. Uh, we're working on advanced materials. Uh, this one, and then the power upgrade. Okay, uh, I've already filled in basically this whole row, so let's do another whole row here. Uh, can I get the scouts to move out of the way? And... Mining team. If it did arrive, it got nicked off with. Can I request another one, please? Oh, combat leader's not running. 
Okay, you found your combat target. Cool. And you are halfway across the map. Back here. You have a habit of causing trouble if I leave you unsupervised. Uh, oh, that's definitely outside the network. There. I bought it. I'd prefer it if you guys didn't go in single file, but okay. That's how we intimidate them, do we? We go in single file so they think they've got an easy match, and then as they get closer, they walk into more lasers. Sure. Uh, high priority. High priority. Also one here. And then that bug hole, and I'm pretty sure this area is going to be clear. At least clear enough for our little mining operation to continue. Okay, uh, can you guys... We're going to come back to Leader, but Leader's going to get into the network shortly. Uh, Alright, so, back to this. Okay, so these are being built, yes. Uh, I needed to automate refined crystal. Okay, so we're going to have to set up refined crystal, which, that's why I'm setting up a crystal mining team. Because uh, I want to get rid of this crystal. Uh, it's sort of in the way. Uh, okay, did you get... No. They're in stock. So somebody else keeps sneaking off with them. Is it you? Bad robot. Uh, solar hack comes off. Solar hack goes in the ground for all I care. Goes in there. Okay. Crystal. 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 Okay, that storage module. I want that to live. Well, your inventory is full. Uh, you're not going to work because you don't have 240 crystal. Uh,. You need to drag that to death. That's unfortunate. All right. Uh, let me see. Um, okay, so you... Can I get you two of those? Uh, we have mining team, uh, which now needs to stop. Uh, I need to set up another mining bot. So that is going to be uh, mining slaves. They're completely unchanged, even though we have the upgraded storage. Uh, that disappeared. Okay, can I set that to crystal? Uh, that's where it went. Okay, so I need two of those in there, and then you're going to be happy. Uh, storage is full of junk, which is fine. That is the point of storage. Oh, and I want to build a re-simulator. That was the other thing. We've had access to this for ages, and I haven't built one. Uh, can I get a storage box here and here? Uh, which seems pretty fitting if we're going to make miners. Okay, so you're going to be a basic hauler. You're no longer basic. You're going to be pretty advanced. Uh, we want crystals. We want crystals. And we want crystals. Okay, so you are crystal team three. Crystal three. Uh, mine crystal chunks. Excellent. I love achievements. Set sign. Uh, crystal... Three hauler. You item is gonna be crystal. The source is gonna be this guy. Uh drop location is gonna be there. Current amount storage is a variable. Uh total bot storage uh is 240 crystal and drop location waypoint there. Okay. You're now set up. Uh, you need bits and pieces that are hopefully being delivered. No, because we're short on crystal. This is why I was trying to get another crystal team up and running. But we have bigger haulers. We have bigger storage. Uh, crystal. And crystal. And set that to crystal as well. So you're basically ready to go. You just need your miners, which is going to take a minute. All right. 
Re-simulator. Uh, I would like the re-simulator to have two things. One is going to be a behavior controller. The other one is going to be a flippy. Yes. And um, power... It's currently fully on batteries. We've got 800 from wind turbines, which is not bad. It's not great either. Uh, I want to fix all slots to an item. It's going to be a specific item. It's going to be these things. Okay. Uh, or find it. No, that is not the code we want. We want uh, clear code. We want requests. Too off. I want to request in blue data cubes. Blue data cubes go into the re simulator. Okay. The re simulator, we can shove in some cubes and then we can do things with them. What I'd like to do is I would like to also request in normal mining heads these ones uh just one because they stack in a one and then if i bring them into the re-simulator we should be able to deposit them in one of these three slots and then we can use the re-simulator to re-simulate something let's go with that to upgrade it yeah uh research is almost done and i had to automate which one refine crystal okay Refined crystal. Uh, it's going to take a minute. And needs to go like there. Okay. Well, we can place that much and actually I can put in a ref refined crystal happens in a refinery. Yeah, I can place one of them as well. That's about all I can do. Uh, we want this research to be finished before we actually set this up. And... Do I have... I do have those. Okay. Can I... Uh, no, scout team. Scout team, scout team. I need to manually transport things around. It's just quicker. Uh, can I put that in there? Oh, okay. Uh, that in there and that in there. And you're going to crank out another one, which I will happily take. And another, another one. Another, another one. Perfect. Right, this scout, uh, we're gonna come and we're gonna start upgrading these guys. So I'm flush on resources mostly. Uh, okay, so whoop, crystal hauler, crystal hauler. Shove them in there. Okay, so you uh, can now carry a whole lot more crystal, which is definitely step number one, uh, crystal. Uh, that is gonna be 240 now. Uh, Paramount storage. No, nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, it's going to be that one. That's going to be zero. Okay. Uh, there's another crystal somewhere. So there's that one, that one, and we already upgraded that one. So that's done. Uh, so sand hauler, you happen to be sitting right there. Have that and have that. Okay. You, same story. Uh, we're going to set that to sand and sand and the power grid says red in the top left that doesn't seem good uh, change you to no that is current amount of storage uh, change the total storage to that yes the batteries don't get us through the night okay it's fine we're getting there okay can i get that one two three four and the sand hauler two is now here which i'd love to give some plates to but uh we need them built first. All right. You, I need to change your recipe. You're going to be doing... Oh, we don't have the research yet. Yeah, that didn't give us a new recipe. This one will. All right. Well, we must dedicate resources the to the development of more complex microcircuitry. With this, we move our building production to another level and be able to produce more advanced buildings. Cool. All right, uh, we're going to set up the new recipe. Bing! Fish tanks. Okay, uh, we're going to hopefully put fish tanks into here after it's built. Uh, I also need to... I need to have this done. I need to unlock all slots and... Uh, fish tanks, fish tanks, fish tanks. Uh, infinite fish tanks. So, infinite fish tanks require even amounts of both. So we're just going to set you to be a fish tank, copy and paste that, and then lock all slots. Wait, hi Explorer, are you finding anything or just hanging around? 
night. We'll see the power up here and a power up here and power here and here and you wanted one tile outside the network. Yeah, so I need to check for that. All right. Uh, with this, we didn't get any anything new to automate. This one will give us something to automate. So we just need to uh, patient. We'll have that shortly. Okay. So using you another sand hauler two and sand hauler two, and now I can take you up to two forty as well. Massive difference. The iron ones are less of a worry because they're literally right here. Uh, meanwhile, we can go over here and I can throw the solar hat and the solar hat on the ground because as we build a power pole anywhere in this direction, or we can have a trash robot just magically show up like he's been waiting for something to do. Uh, storage can be that slot. Surely there's something out there for you to pick up. Explorable, explorable, they're all solved. Okay, uh, you, you can put that into him, and you can put that into him, and then we can fix all those slots and fix all those slots. Cool. Whoop, we found a bug hole. Uh, you know what? Combat team's board. Uh, build that there, and that there. Uh, combat scout, come here. Yeah, you guys could just wander over there for just one second. And can my scout come back? All right, so resources income is fine. Processing is still a bit of a problem, but I just got the research that I wanted, which will let me have a one medium, two small, and eight storage slots. That's the important one. It's eight storage slots, and that's just two mediums. I want the small sockets. The small sockets I can put storage in. The medium sockets I could also put storage in, but it's a little bit more expensive. Not much more expensive, but uh, a little bit more expensive. Funnily enough, the cheaper one has a longer build time. Whatever. Uh, taking damage. Oh, yeah, you wanted way too far. Where the hell are you? Oh, right near where combat team's coming. Uh... Oh, they're slow. Uh, it's all right. He, went, he ran away. He ran away. He gave up. It's fine. Uh, we shall make him meet his maker shortly. I have no idea who makes the scale worm, but it's fine. He could beat his maker shortly. All right. Did these guys get done? Uh, two have got done out of many. I think I actually need more logistics robots. So you're going to copy from there. Copy, paste, paste. Uh, we're being held up by things and stuff. All right. You. You will take in... I should have waited for this. Uh, you will take in the blue cubes. Once the blue cubes go into this building, uh, we can convert... If that's there. We can convert a miner into a laser mining tool. It does cost us five blue cubes. Five cube blue cubes are very expensive. Uh, there's 24, 28, 28 metal. Uh, 23 crystal, 20... 2026 20, sand to get a drill that runs at twice the speed and I need five of these guys to do one mining laser upgrade so something to keep in mind yes uh where was those guys you can I just get you to just read a signal for a second and find a bug hole and then tell this team where the bug hole is and then I don't want to automate combat yet. I need to have power transmission. I need to have this research done. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's all right. We're going to run away. We're going to run away. And then we'll run back in and get rid of the bug hole. I've detected an intense field of electrical energy in the region that appears to be a natural phenomenon oh. forming within the planet, but its effects on our systems are still unknown. Currently, your systems are not equipped to handle the extreme energy fluctuations present within the Blight. We should focus on researching and developing technology capable of protecting you from its adverse effects. Until then, I strongly recommend avoiding the area to ensure your safety and operational stability. Cool. That was the first time I manually tried to send someone into the Blight by misclicking. Uh, okay, glitch bot. Give her that. 
Can you drive around and see that? Can, great, problem solved. And this has been revealed at one stage. Glitch bomb. Can you drive to there and take that out? That would be really nice too. All the way over there, sure. Works for me. I can bring up power back, network back up. Uh, paste, paste, paste. Um, can we pick up the loot? Where'd it go? There it is. All right, uh, we're just gonna stop your behavior because I need to get need to get power sorted and transmit it. All right, you copy paste. All right, what I can do now we've got the bigger and better lasers is I can request in two of these. Uh, also means that I can throw... No, we'll wait till the new ones come in. And we can request two more of these. I have some of these in the network. Not a vast amount of them. I have the ones that we've just converted. Plus, there's the two we start with, which is in central storage somewhere. One of them just got picked up. Yeah. Alright. Uh, you? Okay. I can swap these out. Problem is, when I swap them out, it's a different item. It's a different item, so it resets all the code. So I need to manually hook things back up. Uh, so it's something you need to keep in mind if you want to upgrade your lasers, especially if you lose, actually, any behavior, any behavior, you need to manually hook these things back up. Uh, what did you fail? Cancel that. Uh, you're going into there, then into there, then out to the visual. Okay. So, into there, into there, out to the visual. No. It's out of there, and out of there, and then into the visual. Okay. Copy. Please tell me I didn't paste over the right, the wrong thing. Uh... Okay, paste, paste. All right, and you're waiting on another one to be built. Uh, but I have a couple of lasers now that I can drop into there and into there and into there and into there and possibly get that built quickly. I'm out of blue data cubes and I haven't automated them, so that's a lost cause. Uh, you're gonna crank out another one. Do I have a uh, production? items uh those i have five in the network one's in storage well i guess you're not gonna have that upgrade you just have the crappy one until i come and stumble across five more of the robotic starter cubes or we automate them I sort of want this done guys what do you cost to build uh i have no idea that building uh not the expensive ones but I can set this up. Okay, cancel. You're gonna do fish tanks. Uh, unfix all slots. Uh, you already have a power pole in one of your slots, yes. Uh, so I need you to do fish tanks, which are a one to one. So we're gonna go with uh, that one and energized plates. Uh, that one, that one, energized plates and fish takes output there 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 and there and fix to empty slots i didn't have one slot free for a future project uh i don't need storage in my output no i do want storage for my input also want a behavior control also this research just finished uh, so what does this research cost those. They shouldn't hold up my energy on cube production. It's being held up by crystal. Which I don't have because... Uh, well, I don't need that anymore. Uh, crystal. And crystal. Okay. And this team... Never got a slot upgrade. Not that it changes that the, the, we, we don't have spare crystal. 
Uh, okay, so you're done at least. All right, can I have two storages? Because this is going to have two storages in it. It's going to need to have two storages in it. Uh, just so we can have more stockpiles. Yes. And you, I'd also like to have a couple of storages if they exist, which they may not. And I guess we're going to. You just got your delivery. Okay, we're going to send this crystal team to right here because this is definitely going to be in our way. And there's the power upgrade I wanted. Cool. All right, with the power upgrade, this is the thing that I've really been waiting on. We need to automate uh, that uh, forever. Also, the beacon, which I don't care about, and the large wind turbine. Uh, the large wind turbine I also don't care about for right now. We're happy with mediums. I've put in a whole row of mediums, and that's probably what's chewing up some of my... Yeah, that's chewing up my energized plates. Okay, uh, you go in there, you go in there, but also you can now have, because you have a medium module free, one of them. Also, you're the same. Uh, we're going to set that to these and request in a one of them. Cool. Because uh, these are going to be able to start using to beam power. Uh, can I get another one of those? I doubt I have three of them existing, but you know, you never know. Uh, yes, that should get us up and running. Also, where'd I put... Uh, that team? Yes, okay, that team. That is the right type of laser, which I need to paste there. And that gets them up and running. All right, we definitely need more resources coming in. Uh, that's a definite thing. We also obviously need more foundations. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know what the foundations team's doing. Uh, placing foundation. A lot of foundation. Maybe getting in one of one another's way a little bit. But uh, with power going in, more power. Uh, it does say red, average efficiency 50%. So we have lots of battery, but I think we can't just, we just can't discharge the batteries fast enough. I think that's our issue. Uh, and we're also running an awful lot of machines at this point. So yes, I need to put in some more power, definitely. Uh, we also need to automate the blue cubes. We also need to uh, get these things in so then we can turn on, uh, well, auto death, auto death. That'd be very, very nice. Also, I need to upgrade these. These storages are being okay to start with, but if I can do this, which also needs a yeeter, uh, we should, oh, it doesn't need a yeeter, but it's going to have a yeeter. Uh, one of them, and a yeeter. Uh, a yeeter. Uh, if I can upgrade these storages to perhaps store more locally, that's definitely going to help as well. Because uh, I don't really want you hanging around for four. I'd like it if you just, well, could drop off more than 160 in one hit. You could drop off a few hundred. I have no idea how much this stores. Uh, 844, that's 16. 16 by 20 is 320. 320. And I would probably even put in a, another storage in the middle. So 300 and 400? 400. 400 ish. Yep, that's an awful lot. Uh, but I'm going to leave this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode, probably after I've added a lot more miners. I think more miners are probably called for. Uh, also, well, I need to actually build this build. Uh, and get the power up and running. We, we're going to give it a little bit just to, for everything to catch up. But anyway, I'm going to call it here. As always, thank you for watching. Do it if you enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.